All right, guys, we're down here in the basement. I'm here looking at a job of Brett. Um, so we're going to get the homeowners to clean up the areas where we need to run stuff. So I'm going to show you where the gas, electric, and drains and everything where we're planning on going. So currently, we have a gas line here. So that goes to, used to go to an old boiler, and the other gas line right there used to go to an old stove that's sitting over there it's not hooked up to anything so what we'll do is we'll disconnect all of that and then where that t-fitting is we'll tie in a black track pipe we'll run that track pipe across same manner over there so run it back behind the wall and over here and once you get over here we're gonna sneak up on this side of the here run up along the wall i'm sorry i gotta grab my phone up along the wall and then go up that way and then i'll show you what we're going to do to be able to get everything up to there so that'll be gas electric is there so we got a square d panel we'll need to get a tandem breaker to put in the square d panel so we got space and we'll run the electric over. And we go up the same way. The drain, so the drain will come down through that hole, follow along, come across here. And then the floor drain itself is right there by the wash machine, so. You can either run PVC down to the ground and across the floor or run it over the top and down. Whatever you find to be the easiest. And again, we'll have them clear out this space in here so we have room to work. And then once we get up to here, uh, we'll take out the, the lad that's still in place here. There's a void here. It's hard to see, but inside there, you'll be able to cut a hole in there. And then there's a void, roughly about two feet, that goes to a closet that's upstairs. So then we'll be able to run everything kind of along that corner, straight down and over. I'll squeeze past you guys to go up there. So then this is where the unit's going to sit. We'll have them clear it out, but we're going to have furnace sitting here. Ductwork coming up, coming this way, and then we'll feed ductwork both directions. And then you're going to feed off and put a register in there, one above there, one above there. End up with two into that room, one into there, and then we'll cut one into the ductwork itself. For the return, we're just going to have it on a base, and then we'll have a return grill mounted to the side of the box so I'll just pull its return from this space here and again we'll have them clear everything out up here and same in this closet because where that line comes up is actually going to be like right in that space there and then once we're in this closet you'll just be able to feed right to the other side of where everything's at and then our pvc for the furnace is going to go out that way and bent out that side of the house.